kwa ndani ya nyumba wakavania maiba amewa ametupa pale Odinga Laila 12900 Ruto William 2015 Will the proverbial fat lady finally sing today after six days of practice The Hot 96 News now with Herman Kamareki a uh, very good morning we begin from bomas of kenya where the counting tallying and verification of presidential results is ongoing at the bomas of kenya final results are expected to be announced today with a deadline set for tomorrow according to the law our very own reporter tony mwendo is at the bomas of kenya tony good morning well, good morning we are coming to you live from the bomas of kenya entering the sixth day of the verification exercise for the presidential tally an exercise that we've seen a completion of the first phase of the uh, verification exercise the first phase normally involves the verification of the form 34 as and form 34 bs from the polling stations and constituency level respectively and a phase that is being done by the returning office and uh, agents of the presidential candidates as well as other officials of IABC once this phase is done it moves to the second phase of the verification a phase now that is done by Wafula Chebukati and uh, of, uh, commissioners of the IABC and a phase that is currently ongoing before their final tallies are announced to the public by the IABC once this final exercise is done We'll now see Chebukati uh, generating from 34C, which will be handed over to the chief agents of the presidential candidates. And if in agreement, we'll now move to form 34D, which will now finally announce the eventual winner of the presidency. If there is any candidate meeting the threshold given by the constitution, will the proverbial fat lady finally? sing today after six days of practice six days of commotion six days of verification here are the bombers of kenya the nation awaits from the bombers of kenya my name is tony mwendoa for ot 96 thank you tony we hope the proverbial fat lady will sing today four people including an eight month old child have died on the sport in accident on the main road in namanga kajado county after matter two Rather, rather, rather after Matatu was involved in an accident at uh, this this morning rather this is according to the witnesses that we have got right now but this is just an accident that took place a few minutes ago so it is a developing story here punda ilikuwa imepita side yetu imekuja hii side nyingine so huyu jamaa matatu so akataka ku overtake ile kitaka ku overtake akaona punda iko hapo mbele yake akagonga punda gonga punda ikamtoa of course akarudi kwetu so sisi tulikuwa mbele yake akakuja akatugonga ile kutugonga pia sisi akaanza kutoka kwa barabara ikabidi arudi tena hii side nyingine akagonga tena punda ya pili wakaanza sasa kutoka kwa barabara kabisa akakuja aki, aki roll akiingia kwa ditch ile impact viti zote zikasukuma mbele watu wana alia wamechanganyika na viti mara tunavunja tunatoa viti tukaanza kutoa watu na tumekuwa wengi sijui haza sijui sana watu walikuwa ni wangapi wale walikuwa kwenye gari lakini najua ya kwamba hapo hapo tulitoa driver mabiria moja tena mama ambaye wamefariki hapo hapo wengine kuvunjika miguu mguu nini mkono namna hiyo lakini wako wamepelekwa hospitali We shall follow up on that story and give you details as time comes by. Now, a body of a 35-year-old woman has been found in a septic tank at Joyland in Kakamega County. According to witnesses, the foul smell from the tank prompted a search that led to the identification of the body by police officers. The residents have asked police officers to move with speed and investigate the matter. Kuna harufu ilikuwa ndani ya nyumba wakadhania maiba amewa ametupa pale walipobomoa mlango walipata mboga kwa sufuria kwa maoza wakamwaga mimi nikaenda kwetu kura na yeye akasema ameenda pia kura hasa nikotoka kwa kura kurudi nikakaa kwa duka yangu nikaanza kuona harufu sikia harufu baada ya kutoka huko mbele sikia harufu haya sana tena kaona maili nikashanga kama ameenda kura pia harufu yani yeye maenzi yani atakuita jiko la kavunja mlango tukaingia ndani tukaangalia ndani harufu ilikuwa mbaya Sofia sikuwa na samaki na nyama tukatoa lakini baada harufu baada nyumba ilikuwa ndani kwa kufika asubuhi harufu ikasiti kwa boma na mainzi tutaenda kaita ile asubuhi kasema hiko harufu baada iko ni nyingi tena mainzi zimekuwa nyingi polisi wakakuja wakaanza kuzunguka wakasika wataenda nyumba yake kwanza wakachunguza kila kitu wakaanza kusunguka kwa kwa wote wakachunguza kila kitu baadaye wakaanza
akafungua sekte moja akasema ya bidi akapata akasema hii anaonekana kama ni mwanadamu now to a different story three dci officers are out on a week long training to the united states of america on handling homicide related cases the trial of frederick odemba vincent langart and patrick washira was selected for the program scheduled to take place in new orleans the program is organized by international homicide investigation association ihia according to the dci report the international program for specialized sleuths seeks to equip its officers with the professional skills for handling death crimes and that have been rampant in the country. Kimilili member of parliament elected Didmas Baraza is said to be arraigned in court today to answer murder charges. Baraza spent the weekend at the Bungoma police station after he surrendered to police on Friday last week. Homicide detectives from the ODPP have been investigating the matter. Baraza is accused of shooting Olunga at the Chebukwabi polling station on Tuesday last week. Now, religious leaders are drawn from different churches across the country continue to call on Kenyans to maintain peace and keep calm as they wait for IBC to announce the presidential results. And Archbishop Anthony Moheri has asked the Kenyans to be patient and peaceful. Gentrix Sodwar reports. Church leaders are urging Kenyans to maintain peace and order as they wait for the election results. The Catholic bishops led by Archbishop Anthony Muheria have called on Kenyans to exercise utmost patience as they wait. We are calling for patience and civility. Kenyans, this is our moment to show the world our resilience, self-control and our civility. The final call we all know will come from the IEBC. Muheria also called on the presidential candidate to lead the way by expressing patience before the release of the results and after the results are released. We are still calling, especially to the presidential candidates, that we must show, even if you are victorious, restraint, even in managing disappointment. This is where we celebrate a Kenya that is mature. Mombasa Catholic Archbishop Martin Kivuva on his part congratulated Kenyans for maintaining peace during the election period and urged them to be calm as poll counting continues. We thank our political candidates who have run their elections peacefully. All voters who have carried themselves with civility. The security agencies for doing their work professionally and the many actors. Civil societies led by Amnesty International Kenya, Haki Africa, Independent Medical Legal Unit, Kenya Dental Association, Kenya Medical Association, among others, also appealed to Kenyans and politicians to maintain peace. Na tunaomba ya kwamba ule atashinda, aeze kumembrace mwenzake, na ule atashindwa, aeze kubali, na kama hata ridhishwa na hayo matokeo, aende kotini. This country must move forward and we must be able to stand together united as a people. For Hot 96, I'm Jen you have to date you can follow us on twitter at hot underscore 96 kenya for real-time updates my name is haman kamariki good morning uh, how are you man? i'm good i'm good, good. mambo there's someone who's asking, who's asking uh, where this statement proverbial fat lady came from and why is it fat that should sing uh, it's a figure of speech to mean that it's not over until it's over why fat uh, fat people are easier to pick on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>